What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another one of Hockey's Quick Beer Reviews. Now, remember when they told you to never eat the yellow snow? Well, today, we're going to drink it. Yep. That's this thing right here from Rogue Ales in uh, Oregon. This is Rogue's Yellow Snow IPA. Now, I've never had an IPA from Rogue before, even though I've reviewed several of their beers um, on YouTube and on my website. Uh, Rogue just makes really good stuff. Um, but I never had their IPA before. I, I think this is a seasonal. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, this is Rogue's Yellow Snow IPA. An interesting name for sure. But uh, let's check Beer Advocate here. Like we always do about this time, Yellow Snow IPA receives a B plus out of 268 reviews. And yes, it says it's a winter beer, so this is a winter seasonal. Uh, categorized as an American IPA at 6.2 ABV. Um, but yeah, Rogue. I mean, I cannot say enough about Rogue. Dead Guy Ale is one of my favorite beers. Um, the Morimoto Soba was a very interesting creation to say the least. Their American Amber is really good. Their Hazelnut Brown Nectar is really good. Um, they have an Imperial Porter that's pretty amazing on tap. I was lucky enough to try that at uh, Vine and Barley up in Port St. Lucie. Fortunately, I'm moving to that area within the next month, so I'll be having... Well, they probably won't have that beer anymore, but they'll have something good. But, uh, yeah, Vine and Barley in Port St. Lucie, if anybody's ever in the Treasure Coast area and wants a good craft beer or an incredible wine selection. But uh, enough plugging businesses. Let's get to the beer. we got to drink this yellow snow. Um, you know, if, if uh, you've been watching the last few reviews I've done, you've heard me talking about the weather down here in Miami and how it was mid-December and it was still in the 80s. Then I got a cold snap. And uh, the weather got cold, and I was finally able to drink my uh, Lion Stout. And, well, guess what, guys? I think it's like 78 degrees today. We're, we're, we're warm again. So, breaking out the IPA. So with that in mind, we crack it open. And we see... Mmm. That, I mean, that, that really hit me, man. Let's see what Rose Yellow Snow is all about. Now, ooh, a lot of bubbles stuck to the glass. That is surprising. Not necessarily unwelcome, but surprising. But it is looking very nice. That is a light amber, golden orange color. And it's hazy because I cannot see through this thing. I can only see the bubbles at the bottom of the uh, goblet there. But, uh, let's see if I can give you guys a better look here. My colors suck. Hopefully when I move... I'd love to be able to do these videos on a balcony. I'll see what happens when I move and how I can set up at the new place. Maybe my colors will be better. But, yeah, that's a uh, light amber orange. Beautiful, beautiful color. i got to admit, it looks very nice. And that head... Very soapy, very foamy, very hoppy. Um, yeah, fat finger ahead there, and this thing just looks really good. Citrus, citrus hop. Citrus, floral, getting hints of slightly sweet fruit, but there's a lot of citrus there. Mmm, that is inviting. Zesty bit of a citrus zest, hint of grapefruit. Mm, man, I love I love that fruity floral hop smell. I really do. I mean, when, when you get hints of sweet fruit mixed in with that acidic bitterness of the hop, it's an amazing mixture and it's damn tasty. But yeah, I can, I can detect a little bit of sweetness under there, a little bit of caramel under there. But again, it's mixed in with the sweetness from the hop, so it's kind of hard to, to dissect what's what. Yeah, floral, a little bit of hint of pineapple, that pineapple, man pineapple mango smell you get sometimes. And, of course, it's usually that smell in my favorite IPAs. But yeah, this smells, I mean, this is rogue. This may not be a great IPA, but it has to be good. It's Rogue. They, they haven't let me down yet. 
I figure eventually they will, but uh, so far so good, Ooh. right? So, let's try this guy. See what yellow snow tastes like. And it tastes like one hell of an IPA. Mmm. There's still some carbonation, and you get that carbonation prickle. This is maybe, just maybe, a little more carbonated than your typical IPA or anything else that you can compare this to. But again, I'm not going to count that as a bad thing. But you do get hop up front plus that little fizzy prickle from the carbonation. Mm. And this beer is a little thinner than this color that's on. It may be hazy and it may be this uh, orange amber color but it's still relatively thin. Again, not a bad thing. I like lighter, thinner, easier to drink IPAs. But there's just no escaping that hop resin, hop oil just right up front. Citrusy, citrusy, resiny hop hits you with the carbonation prickle. The middle is thin you could barely tell there's any malt there at all. And then before you can even really try to look for any malt, here comes the bitter finish and even more hop oil, more resin just sticking to the back of the tongue. I mean, this is, as far as hop oil, as far as resin, this has got to be one of the stronger IPAs I've had because it's like licking sap. Like that resin is pine sap. Man. I love it, but this will turn a lot of people off if they're not ready for an IPA. Um, but yeah, this is good, man. In all fairness, though, it's good, but it's not great. If they sold these in six packs year-round, I would buy them on occasion because I like this kind of IPA. But it's not very complex. It's a lot of citrus, it's a lot of resin, the malt is very subdued, and the hop mixture, let me see, Rogue usually tells us, uh, let's see, two row pale, carafoam and melanoidin malts, amarillo hops, three range coastal waters and top fermenting Pac-Man yeast. So this is only amarillo hops. Mmm. Yeah, uh, here it says pale golden in color with a hoppy fruity aroma. Hoppy fruity aroma, check. Pale golden, eh, I'd call it more of a orange amber, pale amber, but okay. Big hop flavor up front, complemented by medium body and hoppiness mid palate. I don't know about the medium palate, uh, medium body, but that's about right. It finishes with a characteristic, characteristic lingering bitterness, and it lingers indeed. But yeah, there's only one kind of hop in here, so it does limit the hop complexity. Um, this does not break my top five, but it's on the list of really good IPAs just because it's well balanced, it's well blended, it's well made, it's quality ingredients, it's rogue, but it, it is kind of one dimensional. I like it, but it's not as complex as it could be. Um, so I don't know, glass half full is the best I can do. Glass half full, and even more so if you're an IPA fan, but don't expect complexity. Don't expect your socks to get blown off because this is good, but this is not great. Again, Rogue doesn't make bad beers. They may not make them all great, but so far in my experience, they're all good in their own right. And this is good. Just mm, still could use a little more. But again, when you need a hop fix, this will do you just fine. Trust me on that one. It's curing my fix as we speak. And maybe some nice lacing on here, too. But uh, that's it, guys. We drank some yellow snow, and it was good. And on that note, I'm out of here. Cheers.